Hello Librans, welcome to my channel Surabhi and in this video I will be doing the reading for the coming new year. In that I will be taking out one card for each month and then clarifying it. Okay, so let's see what are the messages for you Librans. To start with in January we have the Tower, then the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, the World, Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Lovers, the Strength, the Moon, again the Two of Cups and the five of pentacles okay so let's see what is the overall energy of the year what is the okay so we have the seven of pentacles as the overall energy of the year So Librans, to start with we have the tower. So definitely something unexpected is happening here which is causing a lot of disbelief to you. Something which you are not expecting is definitely something which comes to as shocking as well as not able to believe what has happened. Okay, It, it will be something as if your rug is pulled under your feet. Anyway, let's clarify what that is. It's good or bad. Let's see what it is basically. It can be some unexpected surprise also, a good one. But normally tower doesn't... It isn't an easy energy at least. At least. So let's clarify the tower over. So for the tower we have the ace of pentacles, the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. So Librans, what I feel is that you are starting something new. Okay, maybe you are already in the process of starting something new. It's like you are implanting the seeds of something new. This is how I am supposed to manifest it. This is how I am planning to go about it. And you feel that it is something which is which has a huge potential. And it has a long term and a stable potential. But maybe things will not. It can be a financial loss or it can be something which is not turning around as you thought it will be and that is how the things have changed okay so whatever you were expecting things are not going that way they won't be going that way maybe your plans will be falling apart and that is why the tower is there so whatever you are planning for be a little careful whatever it is in whichever area of your life you are planning a new beginning or you are starting off something new then maybe things may not be as you are expecting so just be careful for February, we have the Knight of Cups. So definitely this is something you are wanting to open up emotionally. This is something uh, you are very, very emotional about. Whatever the tough path is, whatever the hindrances are, you are wanting to cross them and you are ready to cross them. It's opening up emotionally to someone. So let's clarify the Knight of Cups. So for the Knight of Cups, we have the High Priestess, the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is, I think you are moving towards a commitment here. You are moving towards a commitment. You are very, very intuitively guided. So you are ready to offer your opening up your feelings, offer your cup of love towards a relationship. And it is definitely talking about not only just saying that I love you, but it is something which is a strong commitment which you are going to offer. Okay, there is a promise of a long term relationship, stability, marriage. Okay, so this is what you are doing in February. 
then we have the two of wands so this is you are planning for something new in the sense you are just waiting for the right time and planning as to what should be done how it should be done so it is a stage of planning or to execute something okay but right now i don't see you taking any action but yes you will be planning here in march so let's clarify the two of wands so for the two of wands we have the temperance the queen of wands and the four of pentacles so whatever you are planning for you are doing it in a very very balanced way you have a lot of passion for this you have a lot of uh, uh, sort of fire for this it's like your project it is whatever this is this is very very important for you it is you are totally focused on it but you are trying to go slow you are planning very very cautiously and carefully because whatever it is it is close to your heart you are guarding it very very tightly close to your heart it is something which you are you don't want to sort of you don't want to ruin it at any cost so this is you are planning for something in a very very moderate and a very very patient way in april we have the world card so definitely it is talking about it can be a travel for some of you if that is what you are planning for because here we have the two of wands and the world following it and here we have the three of wands so it can be travel in national or international travel for some of you for those of you who are thinking about that okay for others of you this is world uh, card talks about a closing of a cycle in life and opening up of a new one a different chapter of your life a new chapter of your life life so let's clarify the world card so for the world we have the devil the seven of wands and the six of pentacles so it can be closing of a cycle which was a pattern in your life it, you know this time you are doing things differently perhaps you are balancing things you are being a little defensive a little guarded in whatever you are doing it is maybe it is a closing off of a chapter which was not really healthy in your life or the pattern which was getting repeated again and again and slowly and steadily you have worked on it and you are now balancing it out so it can be a inside journey also rather than an external journey it can be an inside journey that you are closing the chapters or the patterns in your life which are happening again and again we have the three of wands here as i said again waiting and planning for the future as to waiting for the right time waiting for the ships to come in let's see what is this three of wands about so for the three of wands we have the page of cups the chariot and the seven of swords so here you are waiting and planning for a movement forward very very fast this is again something which is close to your heart maybe actually a person uh, you want to open up emotionally can be that but whatever it is it is either you will be doing it secretly and that is what you are planning you are just waiting as to when it should be done what should be done how it should be done it's a planning about that you want to take an action forward towards a loved one but maybe you are doing it secretly you are not letting anyone know it can be that also maybe that is how you, that is what you are planning as to how should i do it secretly then we have the nine of wands here so this is <coughs> excuse me excuse me sorry so for the nine of wands this is something which is not easy you are waiting for something you are not giving up you are not quitting this is something you have really struggled for i see a lot of wands and lot of planning here so you are passionate about something definitely but there is a lot of planning and lot of wait here let's clarify the nine of wands so for the nine of wands we have the seven of cups the strength and the hermit okay so whatever you are fighting for whatever you are not ready to give up even though there is a lot of confusion you really don't know what is going to happen next what will be the result but you are waiting very very patiently you are not giving it up giving up on it okay this is a lot of patience and that is what your intuition is guiding you also 
so even if you are alone even if you are feeling lonely even if you feeling that people are not paying attention to you or you're not getting your due rewards but and you don't even know the reason but very very patiently you are waiting for it you are not quitting on it then we have the three of swords that is definitely a lot of pain and heartbreak let's clarify the three of swords so for the three of swords we have the queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the five of wands so this is definitely an argument or a perhaps a heated argument or some sort of a disagreement which is really breaking your heart okay and then i see you sort of distancing yourself from this person whosoever this person is who is causing you this heartbreak you're distancing yourself from this person and just in that retreat you're just focusing on your own self taking that time off maybe a vacation and just focusing on your own healing and on your well-being okay you are not it's like a retreat you are definitely taking a break from this person you are retreating from this person then we have the lovers so lovers you know it is definitely talking about a connection here so let's clarify the lovers so for the lovers we have the 8 of swords <coughs> the star and the 7 of pentacles so here what i feel is since this is the connection which you have, perhaps you are dealing with you have distanced distanced yourself from this connection as i said in the previous month so there is a fear you there is love there is affection you want to be with this person maybe even you are wishing and praying for this person you know you have invested a lot you want to see the positive outcome but there is a fear of opening up again of fear of being with that person again fear of past experiences are there so in spite of love being there there is something which is holding you back actually from moving towards this person then we have the strength so again there is something here which is happening which is really in which you have to be very very patient and there is a lot of determination and courage to deal with this person with this situation sorry so let's clarify the strength so for the strength we have the ace of wands the knight of swords and the king of cups so this is something again a new beginning which you are wanting a lot of emotions are there again you feel the impulse of taking that action or communicate something to someone okay then we have the moon so some sort of uncertainty and lack of clarity is there regarding the situation this one the five four, four of cups the eight of wands and the two of pentacles so the uncertainty is regarding a situation which has already made you really upset okay you are very indecisive you really don't know what is going to happen perhaps you are waiting for a communication and that is not coming in and you really don't know that that news will come or not that communication will come or not because here in the previous month with the knight of swords you want you have a lot of passion you want to repair things again you have emotions and there is an urgent need to communicate you really want to communicate to someone even if you are holding yourself back but there is an urgent need to communicate and here i think you are being indecisive and since the communication perhaps is not coming in you are feeling very upset and that is why you are not understanding that will this communication come or not then we have the two of cups so again it is talking about a relationship here so for the two of cups we have the lovers the nine of wands and the fool so you are wanting you don't want to quit on the situation okay you are there is a lot of love and passion over here you want to make a fresh beginning in this connection you really don't want to quit on it but at the end in december we have the five of pentacles so that again talks about a sense of loss and pain so with the five of pentacles we have the four of wands the three of pentacles and the nine of cups so maybe you are feeling that you are not getting what you want maybe it is a love triangle or something so you are wanting your wishes to be fulfilled you are wanting happiness you are wanting commitment and stability but perhaps you are not getting it as much as you are expecting it and that is why it is causing a sense of loss for the seven of pentacles as the overall energy of the year here you are just waiting for the rewards to come in will it happen or not just wondering that will your investment pay off so for the seven of cups we have the king of wands the empress 
and the hierophant okay so this is what you are waiting for you are wanting a new beginning you are wanting a commitment you have a lot of passion here okay that is what you are wondering that will this happen or not so you are waiting for the results to come in in a situation in which you have already invested a lot that is what you are wanting you are wanting a new beginning you are wanting abundance you want the commitment you want the longevity here everything you want and you perhaps you are not getting it as for now and you are just wondering will you get it or not so libras that's all i have for you hope it helps and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye thank you for personal readings the details are given in the description box below bye